that be the game Same nigga I used to be Fried niggas get used to me Dead man if you fool with me Say that for your eulogy Yo, what is going on y'all? It's your boy Vel And we are back with another Mobile Legends video, man And this one we're gonna be doing a top 5 This is gonna be the top 5 most underrated heroes but the best underrated heroes in mobile legends that's what we're going to be talking about because i think we have had a few changes and buffs and nerfs and stuff that's really put a few people that that you might not expect back into rotation where they they can be viable under a lot more circumstances now so um yeah we were going to be making a list like that what i want you all to do is drop your list down below what's some of the heroes that you think are actually viable now and could be key roles in mobile legends at this point in heroes that you wouldn't mind having on your team or mind playing and stuff like that so yeah let me know your list your top five list down below make sure you go ahead and drop that thumbs up on the video man and um yeah let's jump right into it so starting out the first person i have to put on this list hands down is zask now zask is so freaking good now he's really really good and his ultimate defense is going inside of that turret now i think that 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 alone is really good i think that makes him a very very good solo laner i now personally me personally i still would not want zaz to be my um my mid laner just because like i think the mid laner needs to be able to clear waves fast um get buff rotate roam and help actually help out early game a lot more efficiently than zaz can um but when it comes down to being a solo laner i don't see anybody get because you gotta think about the fact that the objective of mobile legends is to take down one turret now with zas there you have to take down two turrets you have to get past his turret and then get to the actual turret and then you have to get past him as well if he's not inside of the turret so i think that zask is really really good for that reason i think that he could be one of the best solo laners in mobile legends um me personally i think that he's up there with thomas and thomas is definitely a meta solo laner so I think that he is probably more effective that he could be more effective than Thomas in my opinion. So let me know what you all think about that. Cause Zaz, yeah, Zaz going inside that like going inside of his turret is really, really good. But also when he when he hits his ultimate, not only is it protecting him, but it does a ton of freaking damage now. It's actually insane. So um yeah, let me know what you all think, man. Do you all agree that he could be a good solo laner? Me personally, I think that he's really good as far as the hero being strong now and he actually has there's a role that he fits in very very well so yeah those two things combined combined makes me think that yeah he, he's definitely an underrated hero that i feel can be used now and in a few circumstances but like keep in mind the key distinction there i would not want him to be my mid laner i would want him to be my solo laner i think he would be an unstoppable solo laner um, as far as a mid laner, I want my mid laner to be able to clear waves fast and rotate and go and gank and stuff like that. That's what I want to see from a mid laner. Zaz just does not have the kit to to play the mid lane role like how I would want it to be played. So, um, yeah, let me know what you all think about that. Moving on, we have Tigreal. Now, this is a guy we haven't seen since like what season three, season two, three. Like he like he got nerfed at towards the beginning of Mobile Legends. I don't know how many of you all was here towards that time but he got nerfed early on like his ultimate it used to be like instant you used to just like hit that ultimate and everybody was just sucked in but then they actually changed it so it takes a little bit of time for everybody to get dragged in but coming back to him and using him i think that he's actually still really really good um the flicker the flicker ultimate is insane then after you flicker ultimate grab the team you push him out with what the, what's that the second ability push him out with the second ability and knock him up all that cc if your damage dealers can't kill them and all that time like he's like kacha in my opinion he's he's very much like kacha so um i think that kacha is pretty much a um automatic kill if he flicker and alt and i think tigreal if you flicker and alt as well if you don't have a, if they don't have a bunch of crazy mo mobile heroes then yeah i think it's pretty much a um automatic kill as well so um yeah and also if you flicker and flicker and all that at the right time because I, I remember when they first made that change to him i think people were just so used to the ultimate being so fast and just sucking people in automatically but going back to it i can actually like if you do it at the right time it's like you always get somebody at least so it's like it's always that guaranteed kill and also you can just get the whole team it's like 
I think that he's potentially like Kaja 2.0, honestly. Now, I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far with it, but you, you know what I mean. Like, he's very, very valuable if you can get that flicker all off at the right time. Like, if you catch all the enemies standing there together or something, yeah, it's pretty much it's pretty much wraps if your team attacks once he ults them. So, um, yeah, let me know what you all think about the Tigreal, man. I think Tigreal is definitely, it's definitely a spot for him now. I think it's a spot for him in certain situations. I would... I would like him, especially if he's being used well. I would definitely like him on my team. I'd accept that. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you all think about that. Um, next, we have Sun. Now, I know a lot of y'all are going to be like, what the heck are you talking about? Listen, bro. Listen. Sun is annoying. I realized how powerful Sun was when I was using Esmeralda and going against Sun. Like, he, he calls out all these freaking clones, and he'll, they'll just all get to bashing you, and then if he has on some damage items and he's actually doing damage, they can take down Esmeralda with, with full shield and everything. Like, literally. And I thought that it was a fluke, like, because I would be going through destroying everybody in the games with Esmeralda. Then, he'll just come up and just, like, consistently. He will consistently just wipe out Esmeralda with all them clones and just, like, I, I don't know. Like, I think that he's decent for that reason now i'm not gonna sit here and say oh i, I want to see a bunch of sons on my team now no i just think that i feel like if there is like a sun master out there that, that just plays with him all the time and really gets good with him kind of like Taos me is the number one well one of the top global argus players like i think that if somebody actually took the time to get really good with him he could be an effective role on on teams but I mean, getting people to agree with a pick like that, I think when people see somebody pick Sun, they'll automatically, you got to put up with teammates, go, oh, you want to troll? I'm a troll now, too. You're going to get some toxic, t some toxicity back. But um, me personally, I think Sun is amazing. I think Sun can be amazing, can be used amazingly. So, um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about that, man. I know I know some people might disagree with that one, but, yeah, after, after I saw that, after I saw him be able to consistently take down Esmeralda, I had to, yeah, he has some potential. Definitely has some potential. Let me know if you think that there's something that needs to be tweaked about him or something that that should make him a little bit better. But yeah, I think that if he takes the time and farms, get fed, yeah, like his damage is just insane. Um, but yeah, moving on, we have Farsa. Now I think Farsa is very very dominant in the solo lane. I think she's very dominant in the solo lane because of that ultimate. She can literally defend the tower so easily. And honestly, in Mobile Legends, that's one of the biggest things like all you need to rely on is your mid lane your mid lane and your rotations really if you have somebody in the solo lane just um <clears throat> just really holding them off not allowing them to take that tower the middle lane can literally roam just roam around freely and deal damage kill people and stuff like that and really carry the game but i think you need people who can play these roles and keep towers safe because that's one of the biggest reasons that games are lost because people just don't know how to just stand under the tower and stay alive but i think farsa is really good at that she has an escape if she needed and then she has an ultimate that covers insane range like she can literally clear a wave before it even comes anywhere near a tower and her ultimate comes back pretty fast as well so yeah i i, I see no reason that farsa couldn't be a good offlaner now obviously with a poke comp if you had a whole team like with full of a poke comp I think that she would definitely do well there as well. Also, and I think that she could work in a, in a few different ways. Like, she's really good in team fights as well. Um, she does a lot of damage. And, yeah, I mean, she, she's actually a really good hero. Now, uh, once again, it comes down to what you need her for. Like, like, what's your roles? What other heroes you have? Because if you have a bunch of squishy heroes, obviously, you don't want to force her to be your off laner because the offlaner should probably be a little bit more tanky, someone like Thomas, especially if you're if the rest of your team is squishy. Like, if you have a tank that's like um, Franco, he's not that tanky, so you definitely need another fighter that's got some muscle to him. So, um, yeah, I would definitely not... Like, it, it's situational, definitely situational, but I think that she's a similar one to Zaz. She can definitely be used as a solo laner. I think she can definitely be a strong solo laner. Um similar to change in my opinion but moving on last but not least we have moskov now moskov is i don't think he's pretty much ever left the meta but i think that with claude and carrie coming up and then kimmy and granger 
I think that he, he's just buried. A lot of March benches don't get used as much anymore. And that's because when you get to the higher levels, you'll know when certain marksmen are just not effective. Not that effective because it's all about the early game. When you're a really, really good player, it's all about performing well and fast in the early game. Like, I see, like, one of the biggest mistakes I see people make when I get paired with, like, low elo players and stuff like that is they want to take the time to farm without really contributing to the team. Like, what separates a good player from a great player is a player that's able to farm while bringing value to the team and still maintaining that farm and that speed in farming while also being able to output damage and helping the team fights rotate when your team needs you to basically nobody's just having a one-track mind okay i'm gonna clear this lane i'm gonna go to the jungle i'm gonna go back to this lane then i'm gonna go back to the jungle. no you have to clear this lane oh my teammates is invading they need some help let me go help them like you have to do everything so um yeah like that's one of the biggest things so that's why certain heroes are no longer used because they just take too long to get going going but Moskov, i think that he's similar to carry i think that he can deal some good damage early game he has a stun to knock people away he can take care of a fanny really quickly even if a fanny comes up on him knock her into a wall i think that he's really good he has a um that dash he has a dash that speeds up his abilities he can when he attacks, auto attacks, it actually goes through the entire wave and it goes through everyone there. So that's similar to Hanabi. I think Moskov is definitely an underrated gem still. I think that he can really be effective, especially if you're um, actually good with him. So yeah, that's my top five list, man. Let me know what you all think about it. Do you all agree? Do you not think so? And let me know why. Like if you disagree, like one of these heroes don't belong. Let me know. Um, but yeah, I look forward to seeing y'all list. I want to see what type of heroes you all think are um, underrated heroes that should be used a lot more in Mobile Legends. Let me know in the comment section down below, man. Uh, make sure y'all drop that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, fam. Peace out, yo. I'm on it. Can't fail for my family. I want it. So they'll never need hope or want it.